Hi, and welcome to the ARM What Is program series. In each episode, we explore a tech topic to give you insight and perspective into some of today's hottest design trends. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief at ARM, and today we're going to find out what is XR. And to help us with that, I want to introduce Ketan Shaw, Senior Director, XR and Wearables with ARM. When he's not helping us understand what is XR, Ketan enjoys exploring the great outdoors in Southern California. So let's dive right in. Ketan, what exactly is XR? Well, thanks, Brian. Before I talk about XR, I do want to start off by talking a little bit about the metaverse. The metaverse is really an exciting new evolution of the internet that we anticipate coming forward in the near future. There are obviously a lot of exciting things about the metaverse that can be done for gaming, for transactions, store shopping, and even using it for productivity and other things out there in the marketplace. But to enable that, X, that particular metaverse experience, XR devices are going to be a really an amazing gateway that ARM is going to be a part of and supporting our partners in building and making sure that they are able to provide that rich experience. There are going to be two types of devices that we anticipate seeing. One is virtual reality. The virtual reality is basically about having this immersive experience right, that you can use for social games, uh, new live entertainment experiences, even potentially even doing um, what I would call uh, remote working uh, experiences and collaboration. And virtual reality is going to eventually bring such rich experience overall that it will probably displace some of the particular uh, screens in your home. That could be a computer screen or something of that nature overall. A good example of a virtual reality headset is from Meta, the Oculus uh, Quest. It's provide a really rich experience at a very re reasonable price point that's using a lot of the ARM technology inside as part of it. The other part that will enable the metaverse and the experiences is augmented reality. Augmented reality is going to be able to bring rich experience to the individual as they are actually moving around and mobile in their real world. This experience is gonna be able to provide additional augmentation to that individual based on sensors and depth perception, things of that nature. For example, you know, navigation could be also used for uh, cooking purposes, um, social, those types of things. And both of these devices are gonna be in an amazing gateway that will provide those users a new set of internet experiences that they have not seen before that will probably give them a better experience, whether it's immersive or even augment their particular day-to-day -day activities that they're doing. Now, when it comes to implementing the technology, does one size fit all or do these require generally bespoke design solutions? We're seeing different types of implementations in the marketplace. For VR, we're seeing a lot more reuse of smartphone technology that is even adding additional capabilities for graphics like foveated rendering, eye tracking, other aspects. And the reason is, is that you need to be able to have quick response times, <clears throat> high performance, and to be able to bring that immersive experience to the graphics and the sensors in the VR headsets. So there we're seeing a lot more commonality, but we're seeing where VR headsets are pushing the limits in many of new areas where smartphones do not have to do um, provide those types of services and experiences. AR is actually a nascent space. It's a space that's not very well, it's developing. There's a lot of exciting areas about how AR could be used. It could be used for navigation, could be used for DYI cooking. So for example, if you're cooking, you know it actually is able to detect objects. Um, so you're gonna see a lot more um, what I'll call new innovations and experiences to drive those, uh, you know, those experiences will be driven through the new innovations. And there we're seeing what we would call low power. You know, ARM is known for our low power solutions. And that's one of the things that we're obviously able to bring to the table for these AR glasses. 
Computer vision is another area that obviously is going to become more exciting and interesting because you have to be able to detect objects and be able to process that. So um, I would say the innovations are going to be evolving a lot more based on what smartphones have already brought to the marketplace. And they obviously based on the form factor, you know, that the that these devices are going to be able to support. Um, ARs are typically augmented reality are more about smart glasses. That means they have to be low weight in that sense. Um, they have they don't have as much battery as a smartphone. So they obviously need to be more efficient in what they do. They will have cameras that will be built into them in many cases. And obviously, you know, thinking about security and privacy, you know, these devices will be that AR glass, smart glasses will have to be more um, able to care for those requirements. Virtual reality, as I mentioned earlier, will be more about bringing in those smartphone-like experiences, but augmenting it with high performance and be able to use uh, new elements of sensors, graphics, uh, gestures, things of that nature um, that were not used in smartphones. But the good news is, is that smartphone is a great basis for enabling these new experiences and will obviously will bespoke type of solutions will build will emerge over time. Well, thanks, Kenton. I think you've inspired us to figure out how to add XR capabilities to these videos. Now, check out all our other What Is episodes here and be sure to subscribe to this channel because we'll be adding more as the year progresses. Thanks for listening.